Adobe just pushed an update that will allow Ryzen processors to get faster export times out of Premiere Pro. Forever, Intel has pretty much dominated this space with their Intel Quick Sync feature inside of Premiere Pro. Let's get into it right now. If you're new to the channel, my name is Benji Kaiser. This is where you're going to find the latest tech and tools for creative professionals. So if that sounds like your kind of place, consider subscribing and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of the future videos. Well, it's Sunday morning, just finished my Shabbat day of rest. If you don't take a day of rest each week, I promise you are completely missing out. Uh, my family and I, we shut down our phones from 9 p.m. Friday night until 9 p.m. Saturday, and it is absolutely amazing to just step back, refresh, eat a big meal, drink great wine, and just hang out and have a good time together. I just want to share that because I feel like more people would benefit from a day of rest in this time that we're in. But I digress. Let's jump into the reason you're here, and that is to talk about how to get faster export times out of Ryzen. So I recently did a review of the Ryzen 4000 series, specifically in the Asus Tough A15. Now, the Asus Tough A15 has the Ryzen 7 4800H. And when I ran the export times, I was rather disappointed. Let's jump over here. I was rather disappointed by this Premiere Pro export time. Um, it, it was extremely slow. It's something I had anticipated because I know about Intel's Quick Sync, which gave us an even faster export time um, out of Premiere Pro with, say, computers like the Dell XPS 15 or the MacBook Pro 16. This has the 9750H processor. And as you see here, here's my Asus Tough, a substantially longer export time. And so, you know, this is something I anticipated and I explained how when you're in DaVinci Resolve, you're gonna be benefiting from the GPU acceleration that DaVinci Resolve uses in order to help you get faster export times out of DaVinci Resolve but that feature had yet to be available on Premiere Pro. And then lo and behold, a day or so later, Hardware Canucks comes out with this article talking about how Adobe has launched their GPU accelerated encoding and decoding feature. And as you see, here's all the documentation about how to accomplish that. I'll link this in the description below, but I'll also walk through it, how to do it later here in the video. So you can see kind of a step-by-step -step process on how to actually get this set up so you can get faster export times with Ryzen. Okay. So let's jump back over into the slides here and take a look at what Hardware Canucks has for us. Now this is an, and again, is one of their slides. Uh, they recently put out this video and I just thought it was super helpful. So I wanted to share it with you guys. They have, we're seeing a 19 minute and 29 second export time out of the Ryzen 9 3900X, a fantastic processor um, with insane power. But as you see, because they're of the quick sync, the Adobe so, uh, processors are able to export this much faster. But when you go ahead and turn on the new hardware decoding and encoding feature, you see that the export time is two more than two times faster than when it's turned off. Okay, so unfortunately, I had to send back the Asus Tough A15 before I could run these tests. But with that data in mind, that means that we're looking at an exchange from this 11 minute export time to maybe five and a half to six minutes, which catches us up with the MacBook Pro 16, the Dell XPS 15, the MSI Prestige 15, all of these Intel processors are no longer lagging behind Ryzen because of this new hardware encoding and decoding feature called what I refer to as H H E V E C or H E V C. Um, I just call it H V E C for short, even though it's probably not like the technical term. It's just easier for me to say. Okay, um, but what we're gonna do now is jump over into Premiere Pro, and I'm gonna show you how to set this up real quick. So I'm gonna switch over here to the screens and look into Premiere Pro. All right. So the first thing that you wanna make sure you have set up is under the f file. Pull this up. Lagging a little behind here. File, Project Settings, General. So we're gonna start there. And you wanna make sure that the CUDA acceleration is turned on. This will help you run faster in the timeline first and foremost. That's a basic one. Most Premiere Pro users have this turned on as a default. All right, the next thing we wanna look at is go to Edit, Preferences, and then click Media. 
All right, now you wanna make sure you enable hardware accelerated encoding and deco decoding. And once you do this, make sure you restart the program and that will activate that preference. All right, now the last thing you have to do is when you actually go to export the footage to say load into YouTube or share with a client, whatever it might be. So we're gonna to go to Control M, pull up our export dialog box, and then we're gonna scroll down till we come to encoding settings. And mine is turned on. So as you see, I have hardware encoding, but there's also an option of software encoding. Make sure you choose the hardware encoding. That's very important. So hardware encoding turned on. And then of course you would click export, but I'm going to click cancel here. So that is how you set up your Premiere Pro settings in order to get a faster export time using a Ryzen processor out of Premiere Pro. I'm super stoked to test out this hardware encoding and decoding on the next Ryzen laptops that I'm getting in from different vendors. They'll be here on the channel soon, so definitely keep an eye out for those videos, and we'll see how this Ryzen versus Intel battle continues to play out. And we'll also see what Intel's gonna bring our way in the coming 12 to 18 months, whatever it might be, as they go to launch, hopefully, a new series of processors that are more in co direct competition with these latest Ryzen 4000 series processors. Go ahead and comment below. Uh, if you have a Ryzen processor, the test results between the hardware encoding and not having the hardware encoding settings turned on, I wanna know those export time differences. Definitely help out the community, share your experiences, share what you're learning, and I'm stoked that you all are here. I'm Benji Kaiser. I thank you for watching this video. Subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on the future content, and I'll see you here on the next one.